Now let's talk about the reheat cycle. Now why do we want to use a reheating cycle? Now see the thing is when the expansion takes place in the turbine okay from saturated or superheated state it falls into the wet region that is the steam after expansion. Now those wet particles have moisture in it and that moisture is harmful for the turbine blades. It can cause erosion, it can cause rusting. So to avoid it, we use this cycle. Okay, so every cycle that you study would be a betterment of the previous cycle. So what happens is, the steam which is produced in the boiler, it goes into first turbine and then in this you have two turbines. Okay, so the first turbine is the high pressure turbine. Now why do we call it high pressure turbine? Because it operates at a comparatively higher pressure as compared to the second turbine which is the low pressure turbine okay so let us say from boiler your steam goes into the first turbine at high pressure then this is bled at state 2 after a little bit of expansion and then it is fed back into the boiler where you have your reheater okay so this reheats that is it it uh, you know, uh, increases the pressure and temperature again to state 3. It then again enters into the low pressure turbine, expands further to state 4. Okay, now what it does is, it is evident on the TS and the X plot. Now if you remember the Rankine cycle, after expansion, your state was lying somewhere in the wet region over here. Okay, now this is not the case in this. So this was the point or somewhere near it where you would have your exit state after turbine that is in the wet region. So we have avoided it, we have got rid of it and now the exit of the turbine is falling at state 4 and state 4 is lying on the saturated vapor line means no moisture at all, 100% vapor. Okay, and from that 100% vapor, we condense it at constant pressure in the condenser and we come to state 5. So that is what it does, Q out. And this is again saturated liquid. Okay, now from saturated liquid, that is at 0.5, we pump it and we come to state 6 which is the entrance to the boiler and in this particular region we put some pump work into it okay and then from 6 to 1 you provide some heat input okay so this is what it does basically it gets rid it, it, it gets rid of the moisture content after expansion okay so if you look at this 1 to 2 is the work output from the first turbine okay then 2 to 3 is again heat addition you are adding heat you are increasing the temperature at constant pressure you are not varying the pressure the pressure is same okay that is P2 so from at P2 you increase it from T2 to T3 okay you can have a look at that also so from T2 you raise it T3 okay now if you look at this once again so 1 to 2 is turbine work at high pressure which is nothing but the enthalpy differences between state 1 and state 2 okay now you have some reheat addition so 2 to 3 is Q addition in the reheating process which is nothing but again the difference in enthalpies at state 3 and state 2 okay then from 3 to 4 this is the turbine work at low pressure okay and this would be H3 minus H4 now if you have to find out the total turbine work so you will have WT is the equal to this plus this that is H1 
माइनस एच टू प्लस एच थ्री माइनस एच फोर सो दिस इज द टोटल टर्बाइन वर्क दैट यू गेट ओके नाउ द टोटल अमाउंट ऑफ हीट इनपुट दैट इज फ्रॉम सिक्स टू वन दिस इज हीट इनपुट विच इज एच वन माइनस एच सिक्स ओके देन द प्रोसेस फ्रॉम फाइव टू सिक्स दिस इज दंप वर्क इनपुट विच इज एच सिक्स माइनस एच फाइव द लास्ट वुड बी फोर टू फाइव विच इज हीट रिजेक्शन विच इज एच फोर माइनस एच फाइव सो दिस इज वॉट वी Uh, you know look at in this reheating cycle if you have to find out the efficiency of it then this would be network output upon qn now you are adding some heat over here also and you are adding some heat in the reheat cycle also so your total input heat your total input heat this is equal to this h1 minus h6 plus h3 minus h2 so this is what you will use in finding out q in and your network output would be wt minus wp okay so you will have wt minus wp plus total heat input right so this is what uh, you need to understand as a as a concept for the reheat cycle that is it gets rid of the moisture content at the expansion state of turbine by reheating the steam in a reheater and by using two turbines okay so this is what we have to do in this particular video now let's discuss the reheat factor in the next video